yeah it was an interesting love story actually i was fascinated right from my mbbs with both pediatrics and ophthalmology ophthalmology since 1977 in seventh semester when i had taken my grandmother to be seen by professor madan mohan i saw him examining in such a uh, exquisite manner that i almost fell in love with ophthalmology and it was appearing to be such an impressive specialty during internship i took an elective in ophthalmology but i also had a fascination for pediatrics but in pediatrics posting i had a pa two patients of gulen barre syndrome and i found both were given steroids but one survived and the other one died because of intestinal perforation that really shook me what was i supposed to be doing if the same treatment works differently so i switched on to ophthalmology altogether in my md ophthalmology i was uh, having the thesis topic of ocular motility and i really worked hard and because of that and partly luck in my maiden venture of aios presentation i got the coveted cardinal rangachari gold medal so that stimulated further uh, to me continuing in the field of strabismus and when i became a faculty i joined under professor prem prakash but unfortunately in those days strabismus and neuro ophthalmology did not cover pediatric ophthalmology pediatric ophthalmology those days was more a sub specialty of oculoplasty where they were covering most more of syndromes but since i had a fascination for pediatrics i took up visual uh, assessment in children particularly as my interest area so i was focusing on how we can assess the vision in infants and children so we worked on oculovis and later on on the teller equity cards and now we have almost come to a digital version of teller equity cards to my mind pediatric ophthalmology as such the core thing is the development of binocular vision and we are basically the custodians of uh, the binocular vision development after my fellowship in us this become more crystallized to me what is goal of pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus and when i came back in 2002 orbis was uh, taking a big thrust in promoting uh, pediatric ophthalmology in india and together we were helping each other to promote this specialty especially with my book of strabismus simplified taking away the awe and fear from the minds of people the most important ingredient for success is love and passion for the subject strabismus in pediatric ophthalmology gave me a special kick and that is what kept me in a drive and in spite of these uh, a lot of problems i used to even forego the summer vacations because i enjoyed working in this field uh, especially because children were off during summer vacations and we had long waiting list because of the waiting of ga time so but this love and passion for pediatrics and uh, strabismus kept me going i was always a child at heart working with children was is so rewarding actually when you see the innocent smile of a child when he sees uh putting on his first pair of glasses or when he starts seeing stereopsis with uh, the uh, tno or the stereo testing or the first time when his eyes are straightened that gives such a pleasure even to us and this connects between the child and us a special bond which is something which uh, is uh, invaluable and this joy spills down between each other and that keeps going the most important compliment which i used to get from mothers at times was that children who would otherwise dread going to other hospitals and clinics because of the fear that they had for the white coat they would come very lovingly to my cabin it wasn't for the symbolic candy that i used to offer but it was probably because of the love and affection that we each shared for each other yeah as rightly said the innocent smile of the child is the best reward that stimulates us shoots us the uh, hormones which are like serotonin and dopamine the happiness hormones as you may say that give you a kick and uh, strabismus pediatric ophthalmology neuro ophthalmology are considered as an outer segment but i would say rather than standing out it is an outstanding thing we are all like the shining stars in a dark night to bring light to the children nirant nishame nab ke tare hum So when I got the recognition by APOS and the NAP Memorial Lecture 
it was a great reward it was something which i thought is being compensating for all the troubles in that we have had it was the first time that any asian or a non white had been awarded with this honor so that really stimulated me to uh, keep going and now when i see you young pediatric ophthalmologist enthusiasts who are getting rewarded internationally i feel a part of me in you and also feel overjoyed with this it is time that we all love this specialty and if we love to work all the drudgery becomes acceptable it is true that nothing comes easy and nothing comes straight but when it comes finally to you you realize it was worth the wait so it was a great pleasure yeah that's right nothing comes easy nothing comes straight i recollect when i was awarded the isa fellowship by the international stephismological association it bypassed the government and the system and they did not take it lightly so they tried to put all the hurdles in my way even to the extent that they denied me my earned leaves uh, to use for going had it been through them i would have been offered academic leave which would have been over and above those leaves but uh, since it wasn't through their system they said i wouldn't be able to go i had to read swami's book on my own and then take photocopies and show to the administration that this is my due and they cannot deny me and that's how i could go to the uh, isa fellowship and being there i found the things were uh, tough i had to arrange my own finances but the final thing was that i learned a lot in that fellowship in 2001 i was in three places it was ucla jules stein eye institute wills eye hospital in philadelphia and richmond eye and ear infirmary and working with dr rosenbaum dr eisenberg dr deemer dr nelson kelhun it was dr aniki it was a great pleasure in fact i realized that the practice of pediatric ophthalmology in us was so much different there were three schools at that time of dr jempolski dr von nuden and dr marshall parks which i could see being played by the three people rosenbaum deemer and eisenberg and i tried to amalgamate all these three into one and try to bring it when i was in my practice here in uh, india yeah i used to say that pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus are like a cinderella specialty it's the cinderella which is waiting for a prince charming and you are that prince charming if you take up this specialty this is something which you'll see that the children are the people whom you are working for pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus is one specialty in which you require minimum investment in the form of instrumentations but maximum involvement in the form of you as a personality you have to be equipped the pediatric ophthalmology requires the environment to be child friendly and remember you are the main component of that pediatric environment which will make it child friendly so if you love the specialty if you have the child in you alive if you love fun and music this is really the specialty for you if you believe in god then you real you should realize that children are the freshest messengers or ambassadors of god or the incarnations of god so when we are serving children we are actually serving god in his purest form it has been a great pleasure working in pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus i usually say it is not that s for squint but s now stands for strabismus sight stridopsis and smiles you will all be a part of this great mission and i would like you to join me and the others who are working in this specialty we together will ensure to do a spreading sight and happiness for kids the world across maintaining the stereopsis and restoring the laws i wish you all a great career in pediatric ophthalmology and strabismus which is something which you will all love and you will prosper thank you for the sake of all children i would like you to be joining this great specialty